hi guys welcome to the video number 477 and in this video we're going to talk about how to use the VLOOKUP within the two sheet within the same workbook but between the two sheet right uh, because most of the time uh, the videos you know which which gets uploaded or the, the sort of the information which you, you even you go and is you know seen uh, in, in the google uh, most of the time uh, we use the vlookup in the same sheet right but it doesn't happen actually in the reality it's different so i'm here to talk about that and just hang on if you know the vlookup and if you know how it is you know we work in the two sheets I know you must be knowing it because I also had uploaded many videos on the VLOOKUP but in this video I'm going to do something special. I'm going to talk about the named ranges also. How you can make your life very simple. How you can create these name managers, name ranges and you can use this VLOOKUP and the match function. We are also going to use the match function in this video. Right. So this is my channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar and if you are new to the channel what you need to do is you just go and check out all these playlists I have I have I'm showing you all these playlists this is the sequence you should follow if you want to learn Excel just go and watch this if you want to learn Excel VB just go and watch this right and uh, for my English viewers I want to tell you one thing uh, there is a there is a change actually from today onwards that my every video uh, is also going to be uploaded in Hindi because um, some of some of you know my subscribers uh, from India they have written that it would be fantastic you know if I can go and upload the video the same version actually you know in the Hindi also so whenever you see uh, any video which has a title called that this video is in Hindi you know the Hindi word is there please don't watch if you don't have a good understanding in Hindi right so uh, let's talk about this I just wanted to give you this update and also one more thing uh, some of you have asked me that they all of a sudden have uh, stopped receiving my notifications right so they asked me whether I'm uploading the videos or not well I'm uploading the videos I'm, I'm as you know energetic as, as I was two years back when I when I started this channel guys so uh, there is a change there is an update which I recently learned uh, from the YouTube uh, when you go to my front page you know you have to click on this bell icon or maybe if you're if you're subscribed to any channel I'm just giving you this update you have to click here and when you click here only then you will be again eligible for all the notifications if you if you have subscribed in the past just go and you know find out this bell this is on the front page of uh, of your you know uh, of your this basically the youtuber uh, with which you are actually you know with whom you are attached uh, for a longer period so this this icon is there and just click this on this bell icon and you will start again receiving the notifications right so now let's talk about what we actually what we're going to discuss today is now in the, my previous video I just you know which I uploaded a uh, uh, few hours back I talked about that how to use the VLOOKUP and the match within the same sheet and I talked really there you know in, in, in a great detail so this video is not here you know we are not here to talk about the basics of VLOOKUP and the basics of match function guys we are here to talk about that how we can create the name managers and what if we have to use the you know the VLOOKUP in the different sheet then is it actually going to really do something you know some uh, is it going to be some drastic change in terms of uh, the functionality of the function let's talk about that so I want to find the chair and the table and the liquid and I want to find out their month okay I want to find out the month as you know right this is the month so how you use the VLOOKUP well you use the VLOOKUP like this isn't it you just go and write the VLOOKUP and you look up the value of this chair and then you go and you know select go in that sheet and you select the table you know this is what we do uh, even when we are in the same sheet we don't do any changes the only change which happens this we look up match name automatically gets inserted now this is not a function don't get confused with this we look up and this we look up this is I just deliberately you know change the name of my sheet I, I uh, kept it as we look up match so this is a cheat name and this is a sign of exclamation and this is but you know always you will get to see this so what happens whenever I'm not sure whether you have observed this whenever you link any cell within the sheet you know guys this is what you see simple equals to h3 but if you just go and simply select the other sheet and you go to its h3 you know this is what you're going to see look at this and let me remove the equals to sign from here this is my within the sheet h3 which I linked and this is my basically h3 which comes from the different sheet and the name of the sheet is coming in you know before this cell with the sign of exclamation so this simply says that this h3 belongs to the sheet we look up match right and this h3 simply means that this is a part of this worksheet and this so knows as such difference 
right i mean uh, using the function it's not going to create any problem for you it's not great you simply go uh, the way you know you go just imagine that you are on the same sheet i select this now what is the table now i want to select the table so to select the table obviously because the table is in the is in the v lookup and the match sheet you have to go there isn't it so i just go and select the table like this and i select the table and then i see the column number now what is my column number now you know if i have to calculate the may month the month column number is 1 2 3 4 we saw that in the previous exercise so i write a 4 and then exact match for exact match i write a 0 or false whatever it suits you i press enter and you have your formula now obviously uh, this formula d3 to g9 guys i have to freeze this because this should not move at all right and this four also we can convert this to you know match so i can use the match function here so match is going to look up this month where in this table again i go to this table and i select the table right don't just you know bother yourself looking at the formula when you're selecting the cells because sometimes when when you select d3 to g3 people you know they see that oh boy how this you know what is this what is this we look up match how is it coming right when i'm not doing any sort of when i'm not not typing anything so just relax right don't worry about it right this is just a sheet name you just focus on your parameters and go with the you know that the same flow if you just imagine if you would have been doing this within the same sheet so i selected d3 d3 to g3 which is my table and then i press comma and i say exact match i need the exact match and i press zero and i close it and that's it you have your answer right so this we look up match with the sign of exclamation if you just you know see this carefully this is just telling me that d3 to g3 is coming from the we look up and the match sheet you know that's it it's not telling anything else right so this is again the we look up match sign of exclamation because that's my sheet name you know this is my sheet name if i change the name of the sheet this will also change right so this is a sheet name with the sign of exclamation now what you need to do is you simply need to freeze the table d3 to g3 because d3 to g3 uh, this table is in my this sheet and i have to make sure this should not change at all right when you move it move the formula down then it should not change that's why we have completely frozen these dollar 3 and dollar 3 we have free, uh, frozen these d3 and g3 right now same for the f4 uh, this month this also should not change when you move it down because for table for liquid or for whatever item we have every time your formula should pick up the month so i just go and copy and drag the formula or paste it and you have your answer right now the good part is that if i change this to cost you know it it is going to change to the cost if i just write here sale it's going to give me the sales right because of this match function we spoke about this in the previous video right you can go and watch that uh now this is not the end just hang on right don't go anywhere because i know uh, if you're following my channel or if you are good in excel this might be something very old news for you but i'm here you know try to resell this okay with some exciting features <laughs> right uh, but i know i'm a very poor sales guy but still i'll try to you know try to uh, resell this product uh, resell this we look up in the match with one exciting feature which is called the name manager which i talked in the beginning of my video now what is it now guys you you know uh, now if you know that this is your data and every time you have to select this table and this is again one one the second database you know which i selected for the match we can also do one thing instead of writing the formula like this you can simply go and select this entire table and you just give it a some name any name of your choice right for example uh, i'm i'm going to name, uh, give it a name called my table right you can also put the underscore just in case if you want to put the underscore that's all up to you right and make sure that the name which you are going to give that should not exit before right now this my table is already existing so maybe i have used it somewhere i don't know so i'm just going to use something else so i let's say i uh, use this item and underscore table underscore is not mandatory but if you have a long name you to make it readable you can use that but don't use any special character like star dollar percentage sign you know it's not going to it uh, it is not allowed actually you will not be able to create the name manager name range name manager whatever you want to call it i press enter and there we go once you press enter you see that this will start showing in your this drop down the moment i select this you know this automatically selects this table and even if you go and press item table this starts showing so this is not a text or a string guys right this don't take it as a normal string like if i write here ajay you know no it is not like that it's a complete table and whenever you write now if i write equals to ajay is it going to visible now it's coming because i have defined ajay somewhere right and i i just 
I think I don't remember where I defined it but this is coming here if I select Ajay you see that it's going to uh, select something for me uh, which is it is not selecting so maybe if I go to the name manager and I see that where is this Ajay so this basically belongs to the sheet 4 and sheet 4 I think is it's hidden right but it's there so let's not talk about that so if I just go and write let's say equals to cat do you see anything here with the name of the cat it's not there right because you haven't created any sort of that you know name me manager but the moment you write here item item table is visible so this is what I'm trying to say here is that this is a proper table range right so once you have defined that uh, you can again go and define this as well I can go and write here that uh, my headers for example my headers right I press enter let's go back and see that if the my header is created you select this and this is selecting this entire table if I just keep my cursor outside this and I go and select the item tables you see that item table is coming and if I go and select the my headers this is also coming fantastic and you can also do one thing guys you can also go in the name manager and you can also create the new one from here as well right so that is also possible and if you want to delete anything you can also delete for example I do need this Ajay I can simply go and delete it are you sure you want to delete yes I am sure it's gone and you can also check that if the item table is looking good just click here and this is these you know the dotted lines are going to show you whether your selection is correct or not so same way I go to the my headers and I just click here and you see that my header is also coming here so this is also the another thing I'm doing here so all the name managers are coming perfect now why I'm doing this why I've done that I'll show you now guys when you use the VLOOKUP you go to the lookup chair and the table array now I don't have to go there because I know my table I just simply write here items underscore table so I don't have to go there now the, what is the column index number now the column index number would come from the match obviously so I'm going to use the match now this is my lookup value now this lookup value and what is the table where I want to go and check that you know that your table uh, you know in the match you define that as I think items table right this is the table and you see that exact match is zero and then press comma and the last range lookup which is for the V lookup exact match I write is zero so this is how the table is going to work for you now we see some errors here and I got the error basically I selected the item table again my mistake because for the match if you, if you just go and select the my headers I think that's the table this is the match table you know this we so I am just going to correct that so I just go and see that my headers perfect I press enter and there we go right now this F4 we can also change this F4 uh, it's not mandatory I mean you can freeze this like and you can drag this and the formula will work you know the formula is working and obviously uh, here don't expect from me that I'm going to write the dollar here right <laughs> we are not we don't we, we can't write the dollar here because this is a proper you know a name right this is not a kind of a cell address I mean it is a cell address it is a table but it's in a different way I have written the item table I cannot go and write the dollar here right that's very bizarre right why would I do that so this is also something which I really like about this using the name managers right now I can also do one thing I can select this cell sale and I can go here and I can give it a name manager or maybe uh, here I, I I can choose different option this time I just go to the equals to sign and I, I write here that uh, uh, let's say you write here that uh, item lookup okay item lookup I'm giving a name what it refers to it refers to sheet F4 exercise is the name of the sheet and F4 so item lookup is my name now is it coming I can click here I can see that you see that it is highlighted so that means that it's perfect now instead of using this F4 you can also write here you know uh, that the same item so item lookup so I just select the item lookup there's no need to freeze now anything right so this is how you can make your formula work using the name managers right so if I just go and write here cost you see that the number is changing fantastic amazing right and then I, if I just go and change this header to something else uh, what was the the other header is it's a month right so if I guys write here month you see that you have the month here so it's working right because you have already defined all these tables and they are going in the right direction so couple of things you need to understand that don't give the wrong naming convention don't use the special characters if the table you want to give it has a long name you think that long name is actually required then you can use the underscore you can split that it's not mandatory though and the second thing is that when you do uh, you can you can give the these you know name ranges from 
here just select the range and just go and in this address box and you can you know give the name there and uh, or the other another method is you can also go to the name manager and in the name manager you can just click on the new and write the name there and what it refers to right if you want to delete something you can select that and you can delete that from there also that's all up to you or if you want to modify something suppose i want to modify this my header uh, when i'm checking when i click here it takes me to that you know the sheet the the table which which is a part of this which refers to this my headers and these you know you can see that these highlighted these dots this also very is very helpful because they they let us know what table we have selected and if we want to do any changes if we want to, if we see that okay so this is wrong actually table this shouldn't be the table i can modify from here i can simply go and write here you know g4 as well so when you click outside this is that you want to save the changes if you click yes what happens it's going to change the table right so from here you can also modify the things right so i hope uh, uh, you enjoyed this and um, let me just uh, you know remove the equals to sign and you can you can now see this this is the basically the function and uh, you can practice on it on this remember this item table my you know this uh, this basically refers to this vlookup table the entire table and this if you go to the my headers this refers to this table where we're going to use the match and then finally we have the item lookup which refers to this particular cell and this is what you see here right so thank you so much for watching guys and uh, don't forget to click on the like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions you can leave your comments and uh, anything you want me to you know maybe uh, change uh, while recording the videos i welcome your comment right please do that so i'll see you next time in the another exciting video take care yourself and have a fantastic learning bye bye